What are UTM parameters for Google Analytics and how do we use them in order to track and optimize our online marketing campaigns? You will find out everything in this short video, but first don't forget to subscribe to the Digital Branch YouTube channel if you want to be uh, up to date with the latest digital marketing optimization campaigns and tips and tricks. So, coming back to the UTM parameters. First of all, UTM is the acronym of Erkin Tracking Module Parameters and it was introduced by Erkin, which is actually the Google Analytics predecessor. UTM parameters are supported by Google Analytics and they are visible to Google Analytics. They are also visible to the end user once he pays attention, of course, but the browser doesn't actually act on these parameters meaning that the UTM parameters are added to your URL. They are actually extracted by Google Analytics that reads them, but for the end user, they aren't visible. The landing page doesn't change. There are five types of URL builder parameters. Campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name, campaign term, and campaign content. How do you actually use them? So, for example, let's say that we are running an online marketing campaign for these ASOS women's dresses and the landing page is this one. But if we want to track the performance of a particular campaign, of a particular banner, of a particular Google search ad or a particular targeting group or so on, we can, for example, add parameters to this URL, to the URL of the landing page. We can use for this, for example, the free campaign URL builder from Google Analytics, which is this one. And we simply add, for example, the campaign source parameter Facebook, if we are tracking a Facebook ads campaign. The medium, let's say, is PPC. And let's say that the campaign name is Women Dresses. What results is a generated campaign URL that is exactly the same as the first URL but has, if you pay attention, some added parameters here. So it's the same landing page, the same URL, but we have added through the Google Analytics URL builder a UTM source, Facebook, UTM medium, PPC, and UTM campaign, women dresses. What results is that Google Analytics will know that any user that lands on this URL has come from the source Facebook, from the medium PPC, and from a campaign called Women Dresses. If we simply click on the URL, Google Analytics will know that the visitor that clicked on this URL from a campaign is actually a user coming from the source Facebook, from the medium PPC, so it's from a PPC campaign on Facebook, and the campaign that is called Women Dresses. If you pay attention, once we click on this URL, the landing page is exactly the same as the landing page before. So it's the Women's Dresses landing page on ASOS. Nothing changed, just that we have a different URL that helps Google Analytics know where your visitor is coming from. We can use these URL parameters in order to differentiate between certain targeting groups for the same campaign and to know exactly which of the campaigns perform better for which targeting group. We can, for example, differentiate between different banners, different visuals, different creatives, different copywriting for the ads. And we can track each campaign through such URL parameters in Google Analytics. The best news is that on Facebook ads, you can actually build a URL parameter directly from, from Facebook. You have this build the URL parameter button and you can, for example, just choose here the source, medium, name and content of your campaign. An important thing that you should pay attention to is that the campaign source is the only parameter that is mandatory when you are using UTM parameters. Where do you find them afterwards? You find them in the reports uh, from the acquisition chapter in Google Analytics. If you go to all traffic source medium, you can find here exactly the source and medium that have been 
auto tagged for your campaigns or that you have tagged manually yourself with the help of UTM parameters. If you want to see different parameters, for example, the campaign one, the name one or so on, you should just click on secondary dimension and you will bring that parameter in Google Analytics and know from each of the campaigns how many visits you got, what was the bounce rate, what was the conversion rate and so on.